It's the same question we ask with every Buffalo Trace product. Is it worth the hype? Today we're doing a review of Sazerac Rye. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Bourbon Hutch. Thanks so much for joining me on this journey through the world of whiskey. So that's right, today we're diving into Sazerac Rye Whiskey, also affectionately known as Baby Saz by Buffalo Trace fans and whiskey lovers at large. This is a product, a rye whiskey from Buffalo Trace. Sazerac is actually the name of their parent company, the company that owns Buffalo Trace. So it makes a lot of sense that that's the name on the bottle. There's also a really famous cocktail known as the Sazerac, which I've heard can be made really well with this rye whiskey. So what are we looking at here in terms of price, availability, all the stats on this bottle? So this is a 90 proof rye whiskey, so 45% alcohol. Price-wise, MSRP is right around $30 these days. I actually picked this one up right at MSRP, which is great. This bottle, in terms of availability, relatively limited. I think it's one of the more available Buffalo Trace products, other than typical Buffalo Trace, maybe Weller Special Reserve. This might be the most findable bottle from Buffalo Trace these days. So not great in terms of availability overall because it's Buffalo Trace, but still okay in that realm. Mash bill on this is undisclosed. All Buffalo Trace mash bills are undisclosed, though it's thought to be a uh, barely legal rye by many people. So right around 51% rye, 39% corn, 10% malted barley is what I have seen. But again, that is unconfirmed. And then last but not least, age here. This bottle used to have a six year age statement, but it no longer has an age statement. So I am not sure how old it is, but given Buffalo Trace's sort of high standards and um, wanting to have more aged products, I bet it's somewhere between four and six years old. Last thing I wanted to say about this bottle is that like most things from Buffalo Trace, it comes with some hype. There's an 18 year old version of this that's part of the antique collection. So obviously this probably isn't gonna be anywhere near close to that in terms of quality, but this is what they're working with as their base rye recipe. So really interested to dive in now and see what it tastes like. Before we dive in, do just wanna say that we've got the goal now for the channel to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. The channel has been growing a lot lately and I've been so appreciative of everybody's support. If we get to that goal, we're gonna do a really fun giveaway. So if you haven't already, please consider hitting that big red button. And while you're there, consider hitting the like button on this video too. All right, let's dive into Sazerac Rye on the nose palette and finish. So on the nose. Oh, a good backbone of rye there. Really good vanilla. Kind of like honey, but like a spicy honey because of that rye. So good honey, vanilla, spice. Something like a cherry or a very light bright kind of fruit going on and then some like minty peppery peppermint kind of thing going on so like peppermint a little bit of pepper mixed in there spicy mint it's got a little bit more of a kick to it on the nose than i think i was expecting i've had a couple pours of this let it open up but it's opening up pretty nicely all right let's dive on to the palette now cheers Okay. So first thing I would note about that is it's pretty thin on the palate for me, so not a stellar mouthfeel, which makes it feel a little bit more watery and less flavorful. But in terms of flavors, I did pick up a heck of a lot of that uh, honey and minty spearmint kind of thing going on, almost like eucalyptus and honey. So pretty nice rye presence there. Good amount of that vanilla maybe the slightest touch of like clove and spice on, on the palate for me. But overall, I think it's a it's pretty simple for me in terms of like vanilla, honey, some spearmint or peppermint going on, a little bit of clove, a pretty nice traditional rye kind of sip overall though. Let's go back in now for a second sip though and see if we can pick out some more flavors now that the palate is uh, acclimated. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. All right. So that second sip did have a little bit of a couple extra layers there. It went a little bit darker for me. So I got a little bit more of just like a good rye kick and rye spice. Maybe the slightest touch of like an oakiness in the middle of it too. 
And then on the back end, it's getting a lot of like uh, black licorice or anise kind of flavor for me. So went a little bit darker on that sip, still backed by a lot of that like honey, eucalyptus, peppermint kind of thing going on. But overall, that sip had a little bit more of a darker tone, which I, I enjoy. All right. Overall, developing pretty well here. Let's go in now for the third sip and evaluate the finish. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. All right, baby Sash showing up a little bit here. I, I got a little bit more vanilla and actually cherry and cinnamon on that sip, especially in the mid palate. And I will say, I think what's lingering now for me is like a bit of that cinnamon spice some of that honey I've talked about throughout the whole sip, maybe a touch of that cherry and black licorice kind of note going on, but it's got a little bit more of a simmering heat on the back end and through the finish than maybe I was expecting, um, especially since the mouthfeel isn't stellar. I do feel like that spice sticks around for a medium amount of time. It's certainly not a long finish, I don't think, but in that medium category for sure. All right, everybody, so that's gonna be my review today of Sazerac Rye. Overall, I think it's a really solid rye sipper. I wish the mouth feel and the presence in the mouth was a little bit better and more robust. The flavors would probably shine a lot more because of that. But in terms of the flavors, it does bring all very pleasant and has a good lingering heat that I appreciate. In terms of that question though of, is it worth the hype that all Buffalo Trace products get? I would say for this one, this is one that's like moderately hyped up for 30 bucks, willing to pay that pretty much any day. I've seen this one in the $45 to $50 range, and I think that gets a little bit pricey for this, to be honest with you, probably wouldn't pay that much. But I do think it's a really solid sip around 30 bucks. It's just kind of that Buffalo Trace effect that you see on all their products, like even these lower level, just Buffalo Trace, Weller Special Reserve, Sazerac Rye, they can get marked up a little bit and they can be harder to find, which is a bit sad. But in terms of what it's supposed to go for, 30 bucks, very much a, a bottle I am happy to own. Beautiful presentation too, so a lot going for it that is quite good. All right, so that's a wrap. Until I see you guys again for another video, all I can say is keep drinking good whiskey and cheers.